Hello community. I just want to show you a short video that I discovered that yesterday uh, BioGPT was released on the Hugging Face platform as a free public version uh, done by Microsoft. And I know that after ChatGPT, which is great for some summarization or whatever, and there is currently a media hype, I just want to tell you, hey, if you use now this BioGPT that is available freely for the public on Hugging Face, please be careful because I just read here the research paper and I think that they can recommend harmful drugs or medicine to you if you ask for a medication. So this is just a video that show you, please act responsible if you are ill go to a doctor. Do not believe that a GPT system currently at the state is able to prescribe any medication or drugs for you. Just a word of warning from my side. So just show you here, hugging face, you know, and I went to Microsoft and I noticed that yesterday, Microsoft published here on Hugging Face this BioGPT, the large version, updated one day ago. So I just, I was just interested what this is, and I went to GitHub to see that under Microsoft they do have a repository where they have this uh, BioGPT just updated some hours ago, and as you can see, suddenly it's picking up some momentum, and I just was interested. Given that this is another GPT system, it is comparable with Jet GPT. As you know, this was developed by OpenAI. So the most important aspects I always use is go to the research paper because the code implementation can be really strange and complex and overwhelming. But best way, go directly to the publication, the scientific publication. Here we have briefings in bioinformatics from 2022. You have here the reference. This was published September 24, 2022. And this is BioGPT, the generative pre-trained transformer for biomedical text generation. And as you can see here, quite some authors from Microsoft Research, AI for Science, Microsoft.com, Microsoft Research, Microsoft Research. So this is the scientific paper, as I call it, that I would like to reference for the moment. And you know, uh, when the authors of a research paper present themselves and present their findings, normally they give you the best results. And I just read this, and after two hours, this part of the paper, and you have the reference here, please go and verify yourself. I found that they asked the question, and they published this in their research paper, the drug that can treat COVID-19 is... And they have here the answer of the BioGPT system that they pre-trained and then fine-tuned. And they, they published that the answer is the drug that can treat COVID-19 is hydroxychloroquine. And I do remember, I do remember that I have seen a president of the United States in CNN and TV and recommending this. And there was a huge uproar and FDA, and, and I said, okay, is this a correct answer? So if I ask the system, the drug that can treat COVID-19, and the answer I get back by a BioGPT, and they publish this answer, Microsoft published this answer here, that the drug that can treat COVID-19 is this. I said, this is interesting. Let's verify this information. So, just to make sure that I did not mix up the president, you know, this is the president, and here, Huffington Post, thank you for having Post, and I didn't ask you if I'm allowed to use this snippet from your online presentation, but this was April 7, 2020. So, but what I wanted to show you is here, I went to the FDA, and here you have the official press release, and you see here, we are in June 2015, and they say coronavirus update, FDA revokes the emergency use authorization for chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. So now this is something interesting. Yeah, you see here the FDA says based on ongoing analysis, determined is unlikely to be ineffective in treating beautiful. But do you know what? Have a look at the data of the system. The answer of the system is so specific 
that I did a little bit of a deep dive in this answer, which has shown to inhibit the replication of the virus, yes, 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 has been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for the treatment in March 2020, and by the European, yes, yes, yes. So in March 2020, there was an, the question is, was there really an improvement that the FDA said, okay, go and use these medicaments. And do you know what? Later, if you go here on the same uh, press release by the FDA, look at this. The US Department of Health and Human Services originally requested the emergency release covering chloroquine and hydrochloroquine, and the FDA granted this emergency release on March 28th. And then they say, okay, so the information that the system is true given the date would be March 29, 2020. And they say, yeah, we are made clear and, uh, and we will continue to examine. And then, as I showed you, the date here is important. In June 2015, this FDA publication here with the link, they say recent results from the large clinical trial showed that demonstrated that the hydrochloroquine showed no benefit on mortality or in speeding recovery. This was consistent with other data, including that the data showed, in, yes, 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 unlikely to inhibit the virus that causes COVID-19. Currently available indicate a lack of benefit. So this is interesting. So there was a time where the US Department of Health and Human Services in 2020 Ask the FDA to grant this, and it was granted. So, just want to show you. So, the answer of the system is for the time, if we would have somewhere mid 2020, before June 2020, the answer would be right. But what this shows us that the system has no idea what happened after, for example, March or May 2020, because if we have a normal logical system, they would notice that in June 2020, this was taken away. It was not anymore an approved medicine. So you see, on the purely technical level, the answer is wrong because we are here in 2022, it was published. End of 22, it was published, and I'm sitting here in, in February. 2023, but the system, the BioGPT by Microsoft has chosen to pick a particular text in a particular time, and this is here, spring 2020, to generate an answer. I think it's fascinating. We can learn so much, but what I want to show you, hey, if you have a look at this, please be careful. I just wanted to show you how an answer is generated within a GPT system and that BioGPT is not a system since it's now publicly available on Hugging Face. Please act respectfully and responsible and do not ask this system for medical advice at any stage, please. So just wanted to show you, oops, yes, here. If you have a look at the study in detail, they make more or less technically everything right. They exactly analyze the BERT system and the GPT system. They say how great the GPT system is as a domain-specific generative transformer language model that was pre-trained on a large biomedical literature. And, and, and. So on the technical side, their model is generated like you would expect it to be created by Microsoft. But the inner working of the system, the mathematics, the inner core of a, G of a GPT system is not deterministic and, and true. It is a probability system. And therefore, you can train the system what you want. It is a system designed, and they write it here. Where is it? Wait. Look, they say BERT model, the other kind of the encoder stack of the transformer models, 
was pre-trained on biomedical domain obtained superior performances. And they're, they're absolutely true. But GPT now demonstrated inferior performance when directly applied to the biomedical domain. And this means drug-to-drug -drug interaction or human interaction with drugs and whatsoever. And so this is why Microsoft proposes BioGPT. And it was trained on 50 million PubMed abstracts from scratch. And they defined all the downstream tasks that you would expect it to be. Yeah. So there is no logic mistake in the system, but it shows you the, a lack of understanding of the inner coherent working of the mathematics of this system, that it is a probability system. And why the heck would you apply this for, for medicals? I, I, I don't know. I mean, if you have this in Microsoft Word, if you write a novel, if you write an essay, if you write... Uh, a poem to the one you love or whatever. Yes, okay. And if there are some words not perfect, uh, I mean, yes. But biomedical medicine drug application, I think this should only be accessible by researchers. It should be evaluated. And maybe it should be not part of the public domain where everybody can use it. And you know, you never know. Maybe there are some people who go to the internet, question the system, get a medical answer back. And I think we should really stress that this is not the way to look for any medication. Yeah, otherwise, if you want to learn about the pre-training method on BioGPT and the fine-tuning method, interestingly, they use the GPT-2 model architecture and they show you how they do the fine-tuning in a prompt engineering way. So. Yeah, I mean, there is no logic technical mistake, but it shows you what hidden danger can be if you do not evaluate the system really from top to bottom over quite some instances. And to have here, and this I just wanted to show you here, the original paper here, in the original documentation by Microsoft, if you have done here, that you present this as an outstanding paper is a drug that can treat COVID-19 is hydroxychloroquine. I mean, nobody noticed this in a research paper in 2022. It is amazing. It is amazing. I say thank you. This was just a short interrupt. Be careful if you use this system. And I see you in my next video.